Why is my face so red? Actually, that's not our topic, but it really is red. It was nice for just one day in the San Juan. Sunscreen. Sunscreen. Uh, no, you're right. That's what I need. Uh, it, it's, Or maybe it's the anger, the, the, the anger boiling up inside when I think about the possibility of Felix Hernandez being hurt and pitching hurt. He wouldn't be unique, though, would he? No, I, I, you know, we talked about this. Most guys, and uh, you know, we talked to Bill Kruger about it specifically. If you want to look at the podcast with Bill, you know, most guys like Felix. And I'm not just talking about guys who made the major leagues, but guys who make the major leagues and thrive and, and become great right. players do it because of you know for a variety of things. And one of which is, I mean, in Felix's case, he likes being the ace. He likes being the man. Every fifth day, he wants the baseball. Period. End of story. No right. matter how he feels, he's going to be that way. Well, and he, again, there are a lot of players like that that are going to game it. They're gamers. They're tough guys. They're warriors. Whatever tag you want to throw on them. But on so, at some point, especially with a team like the Mariners, where Felix is your your face, he is the crown jewel of this organization. You've got to protect him from himself. Mm -hmm. So I don't care how mad he were to get. But the the story came out that he's got a tweaked back. We'll see ultimately what they do with him if he misses just one start, or if they choose to put him on the DL, in which case he'd miss two starts. I'm of the belief you err on the side of caution. I don't care how mad he gets. You say, Felix, we appreciate, we can appreciate and respect your feelings that you want to be out there for your team, but we're saving you from you. This is a season when you don't have playoffs on the line. Yes, you want to win. You want to give yourself the best opportunity to win, but the luxury, I guess, of not being great this year, record-wise, is you can afford to sit him for a couple games. Ultimately, it means nothing. A game against the Angels and whoever else is after that, who cares? You're, hey, talking you know about, you're talking about the health of your ace. I'll almost disagree with you on that, right? In fact, I will disagree with you on that. I, I think even if you're in the pennant race, even if you are a contending team, even yeah. more reason. I mean, th this is going to be the guy you're riding up there. He's also your 15, you know, one of your top played guys for every reason. You're erring on the side of caution here, big time. And, you know, Bill Kruger kind of said it to us, too. In the case with some players, you've got to just take the option away. Right. Uh, you don't well, want he's him. talking about Roy Halladay. Look yeah. at what's going on with him and the Phillies. And, and again, you can appreciate somebody's toughness, but at some point it becomes a negative and it starts working against you and ultimately can lead to much more damage or a much more prolonged therapy plan, if you will, where you got to adjust the schedule to make up for the fact that they were pitching hurt this whole time. And you don't want to deal with any of that. Guys do it. I mean, it's that we've talked about this before. It's the craziest thing. In this day and age, all the money the teams are paying you, all the money that you're worth, if you're hurt, say you're hurt. Sit them down. Yeah, give him a rest.